Hey YouTube, this is CCG Sam here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over some test hands slash combos for the Shadal uh, branded Dogmatica deck that I recently uploaded. So if you haven't checked that out already, it is on my channel. Uh, so if you just click on it, it should be the video that's right before this one. Uh, so do go check that out if you haven't already. But uh, with that being said, let's just hop straight into it. I'm going to be doing one going first and one going second test hand. And the reason I wanted to showcase these off despite there being so many on my channel already is because I just wanted to uh, kind of highlight what the Shadals can do this format because I feel like it's definitely a very uh, sleeper deck that can still do a lot against a lot of the meta decks right now. So going first, we're going to be opening Aerial, Dragon, Elshel Fusion, Gamma, and Nadir Servant. So a very, very powerful hand. Uh, that we have here it's a little unfortunate that we do have our two utility shadows that don't do anything turn one but in the end it really isn't that big of a deal what we're gonna do here is in um uh, activate the hobby of el shadow fusion uh i don't want to go for app because we don't really have a good discard and we'd have to use up both the shadows in our hand which uh isn't that great because uh once we have a single copy of fusion spell in rotation you always want to keep a shadow monster in hand to be able to fuse later on so we're just going to fuse away the gamma uh and the aerial so a little unfortunate we don't get full value out of it but nonetheless it's just a light monster which is still pretty good uh very importantly summoning the construct to the extra monster zone going chain link one construct chain link two uh aerial to banish the copy of gamma just to chain block the construct um you don't want to get ashed or anything we're gonna end up banishing the gamma, uh, resolving the construct. And here's where you have a few options. Uh, since we're gonna be able to add back the El Shadal Fusion no matter what by linking this into a copy of our gravity controller, we want to set up um, some form of uh, interaction on our opponent's turn with like an additional fusion monster. So we already have Shadal Dragon in hand, which is great. But we still lack that one extra uh, body on the board. So we are going to send a copy of hedgehog to the graveyard hedgehog is going to let us add a copy of uh reached all wendy uh the reason you want to add wendy and not squamata is because you will have a dark in gravity controller plus a dark with dragon you just want the option to be able to summon el shadal app clone from your extra deck uh using wendy if you uh, if winda isn't that good in the matchup because we are going first like blind assuming uh next up we're going to link off this for a copy of gravity controller effect of construct is going to add the El Shadal fusion back so you can see here at the very minimum we have a window plus an app clone but uh this nadir servant is going to do a lot for us too as you're going to see i'm going to activate the copy of nadir servant it doesn't really matter what we're going to sign we're going to end up maximizing our opponent and i think maximus is totally fine to play this format uh branded despia has fallen off a lot um and a lot of the combo decks out there just don't have space in their extra deck to play anti-maximus targets so we're going to send the app clone search for a copy of our dogmatica ecclesia and then activate the effect of our app clone app clone is great because it allows us to get access to shadal schism as well uh discarding the wendy wendy effect is going to be able to set the squamata um so now we technically don't have an extra um attribute on the field but if we need to make app clone we have a schism to be able to do so uh so we're going to set the squamata and then from here, activate the effect of Ecclesia to special summon since we control a uh, gravity controller. Activating Ecclesia effect, and this is where it gets kind of nice. Uh, a lot of people forget how powerful Dogmatica Maximus is, especially in a deck like this. Uh, you just have so much value in your extra deck as I'm about to show you. I'm going to banish the, this to special summon out our copy of uh, Maximus. Uh, activating the Maximus effect. Um, we are definitely going to send Titanic Cloud. Titanic Cloud is going to allow us to grab access to uh, Fleur de Lee in the end phase. But also here, since we already have access, had access to our app clone and we don't have any spells, uh, should all spells and traps in our grave, we can just set up the branded play for next turn with uh, Albion the branded dragon. Just a free follow up for next turn, just threatens game uh, next turn off with just a single branded fusion. So we're going to send these two. Uh, set our two cards during the end phase both effects will trigger we are going to grab the brand fusion to our hand and the florida lee to our hand so what do we have on board we have a uh, the, we have a copy of florida lee which is a body plus an infinite impermanence we have el shadow fusion for a copy of a uh, winda or a copy of uh, construct although we're probably not summoning construct um because we well, we don't really have anything good to send. We have Ariel in our grave ready and we have a uh, dragon in our hand. Uh, so this is just going to be a window. Plus Schism is going to be able to send uh, summon App Clone, Winda, or Construct. So we have two fusion monsters, uh, an infinite impermanence, and a uh, follow-up that can just kill our opponent. So we have a lot of interaction on our board. 
you can see like that single in the deer server just does so much for you and uh, that's why I really like the Dog Dogmatica engine in this deck. Uh, you don't have to play too big of a Dogmatica engine. Uh, if you didn't see the profile, I only play one Maximus, one Fleur, uh, one Ecclesia. No punishment. Punishment is not necessary in my opinion, and I don't think it's uh, that great of a card. Uh, so you just play a very minimal Dogmatica package. Three monsters plus the two Nadir Servant. Honestly, I'd still play like two Nadirs plus like just the Maximus too. Just because Nadir is essentially like a Shadal like should all engage it's just so insane uh what a single uh, copy of nadir servant does for you so and uh, and like i said this format not a lot of people are going to be able to um play the outs in the extra deck to dogmatica maximus so you won't get punished for using it except against like fluanderies or eldritch or something but then you can just side it out in those matchups uh, so that's going to do it for the going first test hand now let's try a going second test hand and this is something that i'm the most excited to show because like i feel like this i can go second really well into boards um the only issue sometimes is that if your opponent does have the uh scythe lock and you don't have a way to out it it's a little unfortunate um but there isn't that too much you can do because you only have so much space to play so many hand traps in this deck um but yeah uh let's see going second we have oh this is an interesting hand uh not the greatest um but but we do have nibiru let's say we nibiru our opponent uh, we don't get FDK or Scythe or anything, which is good. Draw for turn, drawing Hedgehog. Hedgehog is not bad. Um, that actually gives us a lot of plays because we're going to be able to ditch the Reshadal Incarnation and flip it up for a Shadal spell. Uh, that's a really cool trick with Reshadal Incarnation. So let's activate Brand Infusion. Our opponent has Ash. We'll call by the Grave because we are very good at the game. Uh, we're going to end up sending the Albest from our hand. A little unfortunate, but not much you can really do there. Uh, sending the copy of our uh, Shadal Skomata, uh, summoning out a copy of Lubellion. Uh, in a new chain, we're gonna activate the effect of Lubellion 1, Skomata 2, Lubellion pitching our Rest Shadal Incarnation. Uh, Skomata, uh, now this is interesting. Uh, we have the, since we're gonna get like a Shadal Spell and Trap here off of uh, the Hedgehog, we probably just wanna set up like extra fusion plays uh, for our opponent's turn. What I mean by that is like, we're gonna grab a fusion spell and then we want like an extra monster on the board to fuse with. Like, yeah, you can fuse with Nib, but, but still, you'd rather have something else. Uh, so we're gonna send the copy of Wendy, uh, resolving our cards, shuffling these back, uh, back into the deck we are going to be able to summon out our copy of a uh, Mirror Jade. And then Wendy effect is just gonna be able to set any Shadal uh, to our field. Uh, let's just assume we're gonna set a beast. Uh, we are going to, we also have the option here, if you wanna be really greedy, you can go like, rest Shadal, banish, beast, draw two, discard, hedgehog. But then you don't have access to a future spell and that can be a big problem so we don't want to risk that we're just going to set the hedgehog and banish uh skamata and rest Shadal incarnation flipping up the hog hog effect is just going to search a copy of el Shadal fusion and i mean this technically is should be game already on the board if our opponent only has the nibiru token because we're going to be able to uh, mirror jade get rid of it by sending uh titanoclad to the graveyard uh, banishing the token uh this is 6k damage and then in the battle phase we can still el Shadal fusion away these two for a copy of window which is the last 2200 uh that we need but if for some reason like it is in game you can see uh during the end phase uh we are not only gonna get like the draw from beast so it could be anything we're also gonna get titanic cloud most importantly that's the great thing about mirror jade and like the dogmaticos this is actually a better send than albion in this deck you're gonna be able to in the end phase, essentially, just get two free bodies of uh, Ecclesia, and then Ecclesia searches an interruption as well in Fleur de Lis. So you have a uh, Fleur de Lis, um, I guess no Mirror Jade, but still, you have a Winda plus a Fleur de Lis, and this is a uh, going second after you Nibiru them. So still a very, very powerful uh, sequence of cards you can use. So you can see, we didn't even have to use like powerful cards like Shadal Fusion, um, which I guess I'm going to talk about. This is the reason why I think this deck can go second. Yeah, I know it's obvious. Uh, it's super powerful going second. Uh, but into decks that don't put up something like uh, Scythe, Shadal Fusion just does so much on its own. Like you can imagine uh, being able to send Fairy Tale Snow plus anything from your, plus a Shadal from your deck to be able to essentially set up Snow in your grave, plus Trigger Construct plus the Shadal, or like a single Shadal Fusion just baits out like so many interruptions on the board. We can chain block our app clone um we can chain block our app clone with like squamata so we essentially can resolve one should all effect for free plus app clone permanent gate and then app clone can turn into a gravity controller which grabs us any should all spotter trap or any should all monster and it's just so incredible uh so yeah 
Let me know what you guys thought of this deck in the comment section below. Like I said, if you haven't checked out the deck profile already, it is already up on my channel. Um, so just be sure to check that out. Um, once again, uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.